refining the list layout. In the last video, you created a layout for your client list so your users can scroll through all of your clients on their iPads. Now you'll take a few steps to refine it so it looks even better. Open the service tracker and navigate to the client list layout. Notice there's some wasted space between your row of fields. If we get rid of that space, you can fit more clients on the screen so your users won't have to scroll as much. Switch to layout mode. Resize the body of the layout by dragging the bottom edge up until you're happy with the spacing. Your mouse is in position to grab the edge of a part when it changes to a double arrow. You may want to leave a little space around each row. To ensure the fields are centered in the new area, select the row of fields and adjust them until you see the blue Centered Dynamic Guide. Switch to Browse Mode to see your changes. Now more records fit on screen. Next, let's add a title to your layout. If you add a title, users will be able to know at a glance what they're viewing. Switch back to Layout Mode. Select the Text tool from the toolbar. Click in the top navigation part where you want the title. Type Client List. Click and drag to center the text box vertically in the layout part. If you don't like a change you've made, you can undo it with Edit, Undo Move. You can also redo moves with Edit, Redo Move. You can undo and redo layout changes until you switch to another layout or close the window. Switch to Browse Mode to preview how the layout will appear to your app's users. Here you might see more opportunities to improve the layout. You'll notice that the layout title isn't very prominent, and the field labels are bold. To make the layout easier for a user to scan, the field labels should probably be less prominent than the title. You can make formatting adjustments using the Themes and Styles feature in FileMaker Pro. A layout theme is a set of coordinated styles. Themes are predefined in FileMaker Pro and are automatically applied to a layout when you create it. Enter layout mode so you can see the theme and styles of your layout. In the layout bar, you'll notice that the theme for this layout is Enlightened Touch. You chose to make this layout for an iPad, so FileMaker gave you a touch theme, which has larger fields and buttons designed to be easily tapped on an iPad. Each object you add to this layout will be assigned a style that is part of this touch theme. Click on the new Client List title, and then look at the Styles panel of the inspector. Because you added the text to the top navigation part, FileMaker assumed it should use a navigation part text style. All of the styles in this panel would work for a text element though, and if you need to switch the style, you can. In this case, the header text style might be better. You may have to adjust the size of the title text box to fit the larger text. You also want the column headers to be less bold. Click one of the headers and you'll see that the default style here was header text. Choose column header text, which uses a smaller font size. Select all of the labels and change their style to column header text. Switch back to browse mode to review your changes. Now the layout is easier to scan and you finished your first user layout. When you create a layout, users can choose it from the layout list. If you press the menu, you'll see the layouts appear in the order they were created, with client list down at the bottom. The other layouts here are the ones FileMaker created automatically when you added tables for clients, visits, and services in Lesson 2. These default layouts aren't going to be very helpful to your users. It's a good idea to keep the default layouts for your own use as the app developer to check on a data import, for example. But you want to steer your users to the layouts you create just for them. You can decide which layouts you want users to see in this list and what order they appear in. This will become especially important as you create more layouts. Choose File, Manage, Layouts. You can rearrange the list by dragging. Drag Client List to the top. You can organize the menu further by adding folders. Choose Folder from the new menu. The Edit Folder window appears. Enter Developer, and then click OK. You can put the default layouts in here so they're out of your user's way. The new folder appears in the layout list. Select the three default layouts you don't want your users to see and drag them under the folder. This creates a hierarchy in the layout list and also organizes them. 
The developer folder you created is now in the layout drop-down list. Let's say you want to hide the developer folder altogether so your users can only access the layouts you've designed for them. Choose File, Manage, Layouts again. The blue check to the left of each item indicates that it'll appear in the menu. Click the checks by the developer folder and the three default layouts to deselect them. Now when you switch to browse mode, none of those items appears in the layout list, so your users won't be able to accidentally navigate to non-user layouts. If you go back into layout mode, they'll still show up for you. In this video, you learned how to adjust the height of a layout part, and how to undo and redo layout changes. Then you learned how layout themes and styles work, and how they control object formatting. Finally, you learned how to organize the layout list and control which layouts appear in it. In the next lesson, you'll create the client detail layout and learn how to show data from the visit table on a client layout.